Sunday Show's preview, stark differences on the impact of tax bill heading into 2018. Lawmakers are expected to offer sharply different takeaways from the GOP tax legislation signed into law this week when they appear on the morning talk shows this Sunday. President Trump Donald John Trump House Democrat slams Donald Trump Jr. for serious case of amnesia after testimony skier Lindsey Vaughn, I don't want to represent Trump at Olympics poll, 4 in 10 Republicans think senior Trump advisers had improper dealings with Russia more and congressional Republicans scored their first major legislative victory this week by passing their bill to overhaul the U.S. tax code. Trump signed the bill Friday. Republicans have cast the plan as a Christmas gift to the American people, citing the expanded standard deduction, the repatriation of earnings that companies currently have held overseas and the lowering of the corporate tax rate from 35 percent to 21 percent. It's going to be a tremendous thing for the American people. It's going to be fantastic for the economy, Trump said on Friday. It's going to keep companies from leaving our shores and opening up in other countries. Corporations are literally going wild over this. However, Democrats have seized upon a slew of polls illustrating the plan's deep unpopularity among the American public, while noting that most of the tax cuts for individuals expire after eight years, while the ones for corporations are permanent. An NBC News, Wall Street Journal poll released last week showed 63 percent of respondents thought the bill would mostly benefit the wealthy and corporations while a CNN poll last week showed 55 percent opposing the plan. Sen. Cory Booker Cory Anthony Booker GOP and deems bitterly divided by immigration deems put hold on McFarland nomination over contradictory testimony, report Corker, McFarland's nomination frozen over contradictions in her testimony more, dn.j, dubbed the bill as foolhardy at best and deceitful at worst, while Sen. Bernie Sanders Bernard. Bernie, Sanders Schumer, Franken should resign Franken resignation could upend Minnesota races avalanche of Democratic senators say Franken should resign more, IVT, said we are witnessing highway robbery in broad daylight and a looting of the federal treasury. Democrats are hoping to use the plan's unpopularity as a means to campaign in 2018 after scoring three off-year electoral victories in Alabama, Virginia and New Jersey coupled with the president's low popularity. Republicans are bracing for what could be an uphill battle in defending congressional seats from Democrats in 2018. The former chairman of the National Republican Congressional Committee Rep. Tom Cole Thomas, Tom, Jeffrey Cole Trump rips deems a day ahead of key White House meeting Ryan's office warning he wasn't part of deal on Obamacare, source overnight finance. GOP to reduce tax relief by 0B to win over deficit hawks, Republicans' I two week spending bill, Fed official urges caution on digital currency, security of auditing system under scrutiny more are Oklahoma, said the party's majority in the House is. Sunday shows preview, stark differences on the impact of tax bill heading into 2018. Lawmakers are expected to offer sharply different takeaways from the GOP tax legislation signed into law this week when they appear on the morning talk shows this Sunday. President Trump Donald John Trump House Democrat slams Donald Trump Jr. for serious case of amnesia after testimony skier Lindsey Vaughn, I don't want to represent Trump at Olympics poll, 4 in 10 Republicans think senior Trump advisers had improper dealings with Russia more and congressional Republicans scored their first major legislative victory this week by passing their bill to overhaul the U.S. tax code. Trump signed the bill Friday. Republicans have cast the plan as a Christmas gift to the American people, citing the expanded standard deduction, the repatriation of earnings that companies currently have held overseas and the lowering of the corporate tax rate from 35 percent to 21 percent. It's going to be a tremendous thing for the American people. It's going to be fantastic for the economy, Trump said on Friday. It's going to keep companies from leaving our shores and opening up in other countries. Corporations are literally going wild over this. However, Democrats have seized upon a slew of polls illustrating the plan's deep unpopularity among the American public, while noting that most of the tax cuts for individuals expire after eight years, while the ones for corporations are permanent. In NBC News, 
Wall Street Journal poll released last week showed 63% of respondents thought the bill would mostly benefit the wealthy and corporations, while a CNN poll last week showed 55% opposing the plan. Sen. Cory Booker Cory Anthony Booker GOP and Deems bitterly divided by immigration Deems put hold on McFarlane nomination over contradictory testimony, report Corker, McFarlane's nomination frozen over contradictions in her testimony more, dn.j, dubbed the bill as foolhardy at best and deceitful at worst, while Sen. Bernie Sanders Bernard, Bernie, Sanders Schumer, Franken should resign Franken resignation could upend Minnesota races avalanche of Democratic senators say Franken should resign more, IVT, said we are witnessing highway robbery in broad daylight and a looting of the federal treasury. Democrats are hoping to use the plan's unpopularity as a means to campaign in 2018 after scoring three off-year electoral victories in Alabama, Virginia and New Jersey, coupled with the president's low popularity. Republicans are bracing for what could be an uphill battle in defending congressional seats from Democrats in 2018. The former chairman of the National Republican Congressional Committee Rep. Tom Cole Thomas, Tom, Jeffrey Cole Trump rips deems a day ahead of key White House meeting Ryan's office warning he wasn't part of deal on Obamacare, source overnight finance, GOP to reduce tax relief by zero B to win over deficit hawks. Republicans' I two week spending bill, Fed official urges caution on digital currency, security of auditing system under scrutiny more, are Oklahoma, said the party's majority in the House is very much at risk and compared the upcoming 2018 races to a hurricane. They're running with the wind in their face and it's not a normal breeze, Cole said referring to Republican candidates. It's a hurricane force wind. The upcoming races and the impact of tax reform are likely to be major topics of discussion on Washington Sunday show circuit. Here's the Christmas Eve lineup, ABC's This Week, Sen. Jeff Flake Jeffrey, Jeff, Lane Flake GOP strategist donates to Alabama Democrats SAS, RNC help for Roy Moore doesn't make any sense SAS calls RNC decision to resume support for more bad and sad more, R Arizona is set to appear on the program, as is Rep. Charlie Dent Charles Charlie Weeder Dent Juan Williams, the GOP has divided America Republicans pursue two-week spending bill GOP could punt funding fight to January more, ARPA. CNN's State of the Union, Senator Bernie Sanders, IVT, will join the cable news show. Fox News Sunday, Sen. Ben Cardin Benjamin, Ben. Louis Cardin deems demand Tillerson and state hiring freeze, consult with Congress former New Mexico Gov, Trump's foreign policy is getting criticized by everybody deems put hold on McFarland nomination over contradictory testimony, report more, DMD, and White House Legislative Affairs Director Mark Short will both make appearances on the show. NBC's Meet the Press, political analyst CBS's Face the Nation correspondent panel very much at risk and compared the upcoming 2018 races to a hurricane. They're running with the wind in their face and it's not a normal breeze, Cole said referring to Republican candidates. It's a hurricane force wind. The upcoming races and the impact of tax reform are likely to be major topics of discussion on Washington Sunday show circuit. Here's the Christmas Eve lineup, ABC's This Week, Sen. Jeff Flake Jeffrey. Jeff, Lane Flake GOP strategist donates to Alabama Democrat SAS, RNC help for Roy Moore doesn't make any sense SAS calls RNC decision to resume support for more bad and sad more R Arizona, is set to appear on the program, as is Rep. Charlie Dent Charles Charlie Weeder Dent Juan Williams, the GOP has divided America Republicans pursue two-week spending bill GOP could punt funding fight to January more, ARPA. CNN's State of the Union, Sen. Bernie Sanders, IVT, will join the cable news show. Fox News Sunday, Sen. Ben Cardin Benjamin, Ben, Louis Cardin deems demand Tillerson and state hiring freeze, consult with Congress former New Mexico Gov, Trump's foreign policy is getting criticized by everybody deems put hold on McFarland nomination over contradictory testimony, report more, DMD 
and White House Legislative Affairs Director Mark Short will both make appearances on the show. NBC's Meet the Press, political analyst CBS's Face the Nation, correspondent panel.